it felt like a real honor to be at any of these functions at all um, because, you know, everything is just invitation only. Um, you're either invited by the Nobel laureate or by the, the Nobel Prize committees or the foundation. There was a reception uh, on Wednesday evening at the uh, Swedish Academy of Sciences. Uh, on Thursday were the Nobel lectures. There was a reception on Friday evening um, that was thrown by the Nobel Foundation. And then on Saturday was the actual award ceremony, most of which was in Swedish, where the laureates received their medals and their certificates. And then that was followed immediately by a huge banquet. About 1,300 people attended and then finally capped off by a ball. There was so much attention to detail and to protocol. Um, one of the Swedish people who was there, who I spoke with, said, yeah, the Swedes, we Swedes, we will kill you with alcohol, cholesterol, and protocol. <laughs> I first saw Danny um, very shortly after we came. I asked him if he was tired, and he said no. He said, I've been running on adrenaline for six weeks. He's, and and he really, when he talked about what was going on, he just seemed extremely excited. The laureates sat on the left-hand side, as I viewed them, in the front row. Um, and in the second row behind them sat people like past Nobel laureates, like Stephen Chu was in the second row. And directly opposite them in the first row was the king and queen of Sweden and Princess Victoria. The king hands it out, and um, and the, the, the most important part of the protocol that I remember is that the recipient bows to the king and queen, um, bows to the Academy of Sciences, and then turns and bows to the audience. And um, that had all been rehearsed. If you look at Danny's schedule, there's a point where everything is rehearsed. What will be my take home? Um, yeah, just what an honor and a privilege it was to be there, to see Danny get his prize, to be part of that whole, whole occasion. Um, just wonderful. <laughs>